me, this journey of learning about the Métis history in Alberta began with a trip to Mount Athabasca. We went, we spent the night, we slept on the glacier, we got up at 4 a.m., started early, we're climbing, summited by 11 o'clock. You know, I was standing on the summit that day. I had brought a neurological illness up the mountain with me. I felt like I had reached a goal. I felt pretty, pretty proud of myself. We walked down and returned back to the city, back to normal life. And things were normal for a while until I attended a professional development session presented by Crystal Clark on Métis history. It was there that I learned that in the formation of Jasper National Park, in 1907, 13 Métis families were evicted from their homes. There were laws created barring them from returning for traditional practice, ceremony, trapping, or gathering medicines. All this so that I had the privilege of walking up that mountainside and feeling really great about myself. The way I looked at those photos, it changed. I had new vision. I saw things with new eyes and I realized something was missing. It was the people that were missing. Uh, it was as if I saw them projected on the glacial faces, the cliff sides. Now when I go back to the park, I feel obligated to learn more about these 13 families. And now I'm thinking about them. These were survivors. These were the children of voyageurs. They lived through the winter. And this was their home. I kept repeating the same question in my head again and again. Where did the families go? Where are they now? And what is it like for their descendants to return and see the modern use of the park? Does it still feel like home?